Earth's changing colors. Even if you didn't want to be an astronaut, you all saw how our planet looks from space. And you must know the color palette of Earth as well. It's dominant blue, soothing green, and blended icy white. But have you wondered about how these colors looked in the distant past, or how they will? The headline of this video sounds good, but it looks like a statement. So I put some mystery in this video by adding the word future. Now it's much better. Throughout history, all changing processes on our planet were happening with great frequency, but they were all forgotten. But many mysteries have been uncovered with the assistance of such things like science. Let's just try to imagine what colors Earth had in its very first days. It all happened one ordinary day, when the big group of cosmic dust and debris started to pile up into a big mass. In that time, our planet couldn't show off icy white or dominant blue colors. Even if they had been, they all would have been swapped by many shades of gray. And there were much more of them than 50. Oh, yeah, this joke is not current now. This period of transformation was about 4.5 billion years ago. Then time had come to another stage, known for its great meteorites and comets falling. Big collisions were happening that time, all the time. You couldn't ignore the red color, because our planet looked like a glowing red fireball of molten rock in that time. But then, the surface started to cool off gradually. After such continuous bombing, our Earth solidified to form a dark crust. So it's been not only literally a dark period of Earth's life, but it also could be boring after two days of watching this. So now you know that the suggestion that our Earth was the heaven place, as some book says, is wrong. Next stage of changing happened when enormous quantities of water vapor in the early atmosphere, which was acid and without oxygen, led to intense precipitations on the young Earth. Such action in turn led to the creation of oceans over the course of several millions of years. It was the very beginning of something new. After a long time, in the cold regions, the white of the ice fields was added to the blue of the water. The widespread shades of red, yellow, and brown first occurred when the Earth was half as old as it is today. That is to say, around 2 billion years ago. These shades are the result of chemical rock weathering, which only became possible when small amounts of oxygen had become enriched in the Earth's atmosphere. And eventually, around 500 million years ago, the first green land plants settled on the banks of the waters and spread gradually across the continents. But you don't have to think that living organisms were formed from this point. Technically, they started to appear about 3.7 million years ago. However, the period from 500 million years ago can be called some kind of standard point of Earth's color spectrum. In that time, the problem of space debris wasn't so complicated. It became one after people came up. Isn't it strange? Now these piles of debris get in the way of the clear look at our planet. We can't see it, but one day it can be noticed. But where is a trigger that may change our Earth color even more? You know these two words, right? Earth's oceans have been measured as warming due to overall climate change. It may sound even good, but this warming is having a bad influence on the oceans, including damaging our coral reefs. Plus, it's known that ocean warming is causing the growth and interaction of different species of phytoplankton, commonly known as algae. Phytoplankton is the base of several aquatic food webs. In a balanced ecosystem, they provide food for a wide range of sea creatures, including whales, shrimp, snails, and jellyfish. The changes in algae are expected to increase as temperature continues to rise. By using simulation, the researchers found that those changes will affect the ocean itself by intensifying the color of the surface water. So, by inaccurate calculation, we could assume that by the year 2100, more than 50% of the ocean water will experience the change in color. But how would it look? Scientists say that blue regions, such as the subtropics, will become even more blue, as a result of less phytoplankton, and life in general, in those waters, in contrast to today. Ocean water that is currently greener, such as near the poles, may turn even more green, due to warmer temperatures creating larger blooms of more diverse phytoplankton. The change will make the ocean's blue and green hues more vibrant than at present, and it will be enough to affect the ocean food web, which phytoplankton supports. Nowadays, if you find a picture of the oceans, it'd be hard not to notice a blue color unlike green. According to Massachusetts Institute of Technology, or just MIT, its recent study says that the green color will be only intensified by climate change. Since the fall of 1997, NASA satellites have continuously and globally observed all plant life at the surface of the land and oceans. And it would be impossible to believe in what I said before without this observation process. Nowadays, satellites let people see Earth's breathing quite clearly. 
As scientists continue to work those consequences out, the fact that the oceans are changing colors serves as a reminder of just how quickly our increasingly unnatural world is being transformed. Things happen for a reason, and that's what some of you might forget, but without lots of water, we couldn't even exist. Now the color of blue takes the giant place on our globe. You will agree with me that it'd be strange if all oceans turned to yellow or green at once. On the other hand, you people get used to everything. But it's totally not a great thing if your influence on the nature is negligent. In that case, don't be surprised if someday our planet decides to kick your ass. Share this video with your friends, and if you like, just write a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe on this channel to see more interesting videos. See you guys!